Yeah, well done. Right, let's take this uh, 1971 Rover P5B Coupe, obviously 3.5 litre automatic for a spin. All light and ignition might come up properly, as does the brake lights. We've got the handbrake on. Starts really nicely. Um, into D, handbrake off, off we go. I'm actually using this daily at the minute and it's performing absolutely superbly, showing 97,000 miles at the moment. That may well go up a little bit. Well, it will do as I'm using it daily, but. Uh, Light a bit. Right, off we go. Um, beautiful example, this one. Um, last owner, a well-known motoring historian and writer, had it for uh, the last 15 years and had it uh, fully restored by RJ Spratley, full body restoration by uh, RJ Spratley. It's about 11 years ago and he's done about uh, 10, 11,000 miles on it since. And it's uh, just lovely. Engine starts on the button. It has got a manual choke control on this one, unlike the, uh, the usual AED system, which is horrible. Um, the engine had a top end rebuild, I think, in 2003 from memory. And it performs really, really nicely. It's got an uprated radiator in it, so there's uh, certainly no, uh, no overheating at all. The temperature gauge is sitting just around the, just below the normal mark at the moment. All the gauges are working properly. Fuel ammeter, um, oil pressure and, uh, and temperature and rev count and everything. Everything's working exactly the way it should. But yes, no, no uh, misfiring hesitancy or overheating at all from the motor. Um, gearbox is nice, it's obviously the early sort of uh, three-speed uh, auto gearbox on this one but it uh, clunks in and out the way it should. Doesn't give any issues. No drivetrain issues at all. There's no whining from diffs or from the diff or anything. It just uh, just gets on with it. No funny suspension noises at all. It's got a decent set of uh, Redstein tyres on it, so it um, doesn't float around too much. Actually handles quite nicely for one of these. It really has had no expense spared on it over the past um, past 15 years. Brakes nicely. These always do have quite nice brakes. Well, they're quite usable classics, really. Speedo flickers a bit below 30 miles an hour, but uh, it is a cable speedo, so um, that's what you get. Clicks into top gear there. Um, we've got an original um, period radio in it, which uh, only picks up medium wave and long wave, so you can at least listen to the arches or the shipping forecast. Picks up its skirts and goes nicely. And these have really great performance for uh, for their size and weight. Usual bit of wind noise around the uh, around the doors, but you always, especially when you've got the quarter lights open as I have. At least it lets some uh, some cool air in. I think the heater on this one actually does actually kick out a little bit of heat as well. Yeah, it's not bad. Everything works, fans, everything, everything does exactly as it should. It's got the tool kit in the box and down there. I think there's um, just the little adjustable spanners missing, but I may have a spare one of those around somewhere. Haven't checked if the heated rear window and cigar lights are working in fairness, but uh, then minor points. Even the clock works, showing the wrong time at the minute, but uh, um, it does actually work. I'd like to go a bit faster along here, but it uh, seems like we've been blocked by loads of Sunday drivers, so it's obviously not going to happen. But um, As you can hear, it just picks up and goes very nicely. No bumps, clunks, groans or rattles or uh, 
unpleasant noises at all, it really just gets on with it totally. Indicates obviously work properly, they self cancel properly as well. I think that's probably about it really. My name's Simon, you can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352 or you can go to our website which is www.mototrome.co.uk for any further info.